This is Wilson Black. <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole fact. That's you a know? Whole fact. How do you um, deal with that? How do you deal with the PTSD? Fam. So I do yoga <laughs> and I fucking like, I run. I got the Nike run out, my nigga. Like I stay the fuck away from people and I smoke weed, bro. Right? Because like I know I'm on bullshit. Right? I'm on bullshit because like I'm from a place where like first time I looked down, like my uncle. First time he held a machete to me, I was like, "Boy, he's my cousin." He was like. I was like 13. Mm-hmm. It was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just have to. Haven't had too many of those moments. Like, looking down the barrels of multiple guns, that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you realize eventually, if you live long enough. That that shit isn't healthy. I just you know I just that just happened this year for the first time. Fair. For the first time it just happened to me. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna let you know. Yo, ran into um situations. So it's not the first time I ever had ran into a situation with gunplay and all that. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, in the moment, your heart racing. You know, mm-hmm. going through all the shit in the moment. But I'm saying like the next day, that's a story. That's a ha ha key key. Yo, pass the way. Yo, listen, what the fuck happened yesterday, bro? Shit happened to me. This year, I'm, I'm thinking it was, and it was even third person. It was just witnessing the whole thing and like having to beat through the whole thing. And I'll explain the story later. I couldn't get out of bed the next day, bro. Like, I was feeling like, you know, when you hear like people were like, yo, I was shook up. I never understood it. I never got it. I'm like, bro, it happened. You lived. You'll be all right. The next day, like, I was, yo, bro. And it just hit me for the first time, like, yo, this shit weirds on you, bro. And that's what I'm saying. Is the accumulation, right? Mm. The first time it might be cool. Mm. The second time, whatever. From the third time onward, cause you're doing yourself a real disfavor type shit. Mm. And like, bro, like, that's part of the reason why I try to stay out of the mix. Because you're bro, like, I had to realize, oh, uh-huh. by the third time you go through some shit like that, you do yourself a disservice. You know, like, I always tell so. What it was for me is like, I had to reteach myself how to smile. And like, it sounds simple enough to say it, it's a lot more complicated to actually like, live it, you know? To relax right. yourself enough to. Right, mm-hmm. you know? Like, and it took, so having been to those type of places within myself, I just don't recommend it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Very ghetto. <laughs> I give the sheets a one and a half star. <laughs> Yo, <bro. laughs> like, fam, like, there are ways when you're trying to smile, but your cheek is twitching. Mm-hmm. For what? <laughs> Where's the millions? <laughs> you know? Yeah, where the money? Because <laughs> yeah, that's my thing. I'm saying to brothers, it's like, yo, boom, like, if you're going to do, like, where's the millions? Mm. You know? We're not seeing the millions. Like, let's have realistic conversations, right? Let's talk. And in the green, if you're not growing your green, fucking you actually don't. Yeah. And that other shit, what, the, the Migos just ran out of jobs? <laughs> they don't want money no more? No. Nah. Nah, I don't know. So, what, you're gonna what? Sell iron with the white boys? <laughs> right? So it's like, what's the deal? Mm. You know, what's the, what's what, like, what man actually, like, yo, fam, you think? My name is Blacks. I just vented with my man Slops. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.